my Halloween too. So my name is Laetitia Miral, I'm a paper magician, I live in France and in France we don't celebrate Halloween. I will go into all the details at the end of the video. I'm so excited because it's just like having a new toy to play with. So nobody celebrates it in France, so I, I can't find any nice deco anywhere, it's just really really plastic, really cheap things. So I have to make my own if I want to have a nice decor. So I'm going to share with you what I have done with my decors mainly coming from the Halloween workshop. Few things coming from nature, vegetables and things I own. I only use things I already own. I didn't want to buy anything because I didn't have any choice and any options. I've decorated mainly my living room and a bit my entrance hall for a first time. Well, that's all I could do, but I will grow my collection year after year and I really plan to do something bigger next year, that's for sure, because I will have other Halloween workshops coming and they will help me grow my uh, Halloween decor collection too. So I didn't want to have a so too creepy decor, it's really gentle, a gentle witch decor, that's the theme I wanted. Uh, nice colors, very beautiful fall colors and just nice shapes. So I mainly had my paper pumpkins from the Halloween workshop, the molten butterflies from the Halloween workshop, and my vegetables, my wheel pumpkins, my candles, I adore candles, I have a lot of candles. Um, my sweet shoes and all sorts of things coming from the brocanteur and branches and things like that. So if you didn't see my mantle video where I show you how I decorate my mantle, you can watch it. I will link it just below. Uh, I'm not going to go back in all the thing about the mantle because I already have a, a video about it. Um, but if you want to watch it, you can. And here I'm going to show you all the rest of my decor. So this is the first decor I created in my entrance hall. I think you call that foyer in, in American and I think it's entrance hall in English. I'm not really sure in, in England. Uh, well, just a little room I have in my entryway. That's the first thing you see. It's still not exactly uh, perfect. It's my first Halloween so I just took advantage of all the things I had. So this is my boot which is I found in my brocanteur in April last spring. I could wear them, I, I wore them actually, but they are very very fragile and I would I would damage the, the, the leather which is really old and you can tell it's it just wouldn't uh, last very long if I would wear them. So I just keep them as a, as a decor. My candelabra I already had and this is the book of the museum book I found at my old bookshop. I think it was also last spring, I'm not really sure when and there were a lot of pictures engraving inside and there was this sort of witch here. I thought she was really really perfect and here there is a portrait of my grandparents, my grandmother's great great grandparents or grandparents I'm not sure and I thought it was a pretty creepy picture. The main thing I did in my living room is I put this table, which is my kitchen table actually here, for many reasons because I'm going to have a lot of dinners, a lot of uh, Halloween tea time and after that Christmas time also with my friends and I just wanted to have more space in the living room because um, my kitchen is not done yet. I was supposed to do it this summer, it wasn't done and it's just a huge huge makeover I need to do and um, it's not friendly for now. It's exactly in the same state I, uh, as I arrived in this apartment two years ago and um, it's not really pleasant for the festive season. I'm going to celebrate Halloween and do my dinners and all that in my living room. So I put my table, my chairs, and I'm going to add more chairs when I have my friends, but that's where I wanted to do things. So I put my, my kitchen table here, added some fabric I already had, and yes, and do a sort of decor on top of it. So on my table I just added a lot of candles, big candles, so this, oh, that's really the only thing I bought. I have my candelabra which is a bit broken here, there is a part which broke, and a lot of graves just because it creates a bit of a dramatic effect, a castle dramatic effect. I love the colors, of course it's a fall color. They look ginormous, this one, they are very very big, I think they are totally chemical. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to eat them because they're just super big and they're definitely not organic as you can imagine. I have my oils which I already show you in the mantle, I didn't use them in the mantle, now they're here. My little pumpkin from the Halloween workshop and a wheel, wheel one. And yeah, that's pretty old and all, all sorts of uh, yes candle holders I already had. Here I created another little decor with another of my pumpkin from the workshop. I have this beautiful book 
which has been given by an apprentice magician a few months ago and I have all sorts of candles inside. It's a box actually and it's very very pretty. I have another sort of pumpkin, my candle, and a damnation, a damnation first in, adapted by Berlioz and it's um, just a musical musical book and I thought first is not very far from the Halloween theme. There is, there is a witch in, in the play, uh, the actual play, so I just thought it would look really nice even there to have some devils, some witches, all sorts of things like that. In this little corner I have another book with some castle, it's also a sort of magazine from the 19th century and there are tons of things of, on tons of uh, uh, subjects and themes and there were some beautiful castles so I just thought it would look nice here. I have here a book of Demons et Merveilles which is a book about legends and there is a big part about Halloween, extremely interesting, about banshees, about all sorts of legends and all that. It's more the historical part of it, it's just a very beautiful book and it's, it was written, it's in French, by Edouard Brazé who I think is just a specialist of all that so I was reading it actually to get in the mood of Halloween and I really recommend it. And this one is a funny book, uh, I, my brother offered it to me many years ago and it's called Haunted Air and it's all sort of pictures of Halloween in America uh, from the, I think, the beginning of the century actually or maybe even the Victorian era, I'm not really sure. It's just a book of photo and it's really, really creepy, just uh, yes, nice dark photos of, of children dressed but they're all, they're all really strange when you see all this photo with nothing, no text inside, uh, ne with no text next to it, it's pretty creepy so I thought it would be really nice to have it uh, for my Halloween decor. Of course I had to have my witch mirror, I put it back here in the living room because I think first it's a witch mirror, it would be great for Halloween but not only, I think it looks really perfect uh, to open this wall and it's just much better than over the fireplace and it just plays with all the reflections. I have three mirrors which are reflecting each other and I really love that. Not only for a creepy sort of witch uh, result but I really really adore it. And this little corner I created for the Halloween, the festive, the Christmas and the winter season because I would be really close to the window and just a nice place to have a tea and to enjoy a nice book and of course to do some nice seasonal decor too. So. I have here my very big pumpkin from the workshop, I have a candy jar I had for a long time, I have my low little Olympica candle of course, I have a nice old crown and I put some seasonal leaves on it and I also have my green glasses which I found in a flea market in Lyon a long time ago and I thought they would remind me a bit of the witch in Oz, the green witch and a nice old book so this is my little witch corner and this I already had for a long time it's just a curtain and my little pillow he belonged to my studio but I put him back here because the purple is actually the color of magic so I thought it would be nice to have a bit of purple for the Halloween season instead of orange and black. So as I told you we don't celebrate Halloween in France for tons of reasons, religious, historical, I think a bit of political, all these reasons. Um, the thing is when the Christian era arrived uh, they cleaned all the little tradition people had before this sort of Celtic tradition and they created Toussaint with what we have at the very end of October which is the, uh, the sort of celebration of all saints and you're supposed to go on the grave of your family and just see your family and nothing else really you don't do any decor you don't do any of that you just put some flowers on your relatives graves that's all we do and uh, before that I, I did a bit my research and before that, before the Christian era, people were celebrating things pretty much the same way uh, they were doing it in Ireland. I also discovered that in Brittany, which is the most Celtic part of France, they were doing a sort of Halloween trick or treats a thing till the beginning of the 20th century in some parts of Brittany, cutting vegetables and playing some tricks to their, their neighbors. Thank you very much for watching this Halloween tour, so if you didn't see the video with the mantle you can watch it, I will link it just below and there will be another video to complete this series of my Halloween uh, theme.
So the Halloween workshop is going to be open still a few more weeks. There is a launching offer which is going to end very soon. So you will have all the details just under this video if you are interested. And it's just going to open once a year. So if you are watching this video really in the future, maybe it's already the next Halloween season and it's going to be open, but you will have for sure all the details about that. It's not going to stay open all year long. So just um, check that if you are interested in doing these pumpkins and it's more than butterflies and um, this year in 2019 this saturday we have our first skype with the ladies winwood and i'm so excited to meet them uh, for those who are going to join so thank you very much for watching this video you can give a thumbs up if you liked what you saw and you can subscribe i will have a lot of super nice video coming uh, including all the videos about my secret project i didn't share with you yet but it's going to come in november i will share a lot about that so if you don't want to miss anything about that you can subscribe thank you very much for watching and i will see you soon